Hey, John here. Let's talk about a deck. And that's how you pronounce this thing. It's not DQ or Dequi or no, it's a deck, like a deck of cards. That's how you pronounce this thing, okay? What does it stand for? It stands for double ended Q, all right? And we'll talk about a Q in another time, but let's look at this structure and not really worry about its name or you know the other things that might use it. Let's just understand the basic idea. What is this thing? What does it do? What it is, is it simply a container that allows fast insertion and deletion at both of its beginning and the end? Okay. Now, there's other desirable features, but these are the main thing. You might say, why not use a linked list? Okay. You could use a linked list for this, right? A linked list works great. And it runs an order one time when you insert and delete things at the head as well as the tail. Or, as they say, push front, pop front, push back, and pop back, okay? But the deck also allows you to have direct access to its internal elements in order one time. In other words, we'll jump ahead here a little bit. It has one of these. It allows you to use the square brackets like a vector. It allows you to use the at member function. Say, you know, these two things are very similar, right? I want to know what element number 10 is. I want to know its value. I can do that with a deck. You can't do that with a linked list. You can do it with a vector. But a vector does not give you order one time for inserting and removing elements at both the beginning and the end, right? So a vector allows you to have order one time only when you're inserting and removing elements at the end of the vector. But a deck adds the ability to have order one insert and delete at the beginning. All right, that's the big difference between a deck and a vector. Okay, the big difference between a deck and a linked list is that a linked list does not provide random access at all. Okay, so it gives you the same performance as a vector for random access, same performance as a vector for inserting and removing elements at the end, and same performance as a linked list when inserting, removing in the beginning. All right, now if you're going to poke around and put elements in the middle, then the performance is on the order of n, which is the size of the deck. So it's roughly as bad as, uh, worst case, it would be as bad as that of a vector, okay? So if you're going to use a vector and you want to push and, and, and pop things at the beginning as well as the end, just use a deck instead. That's the whole point here, all right? Now, how do we gain this, and why didn't they just do this with a vector? Well, in a vector, the elements are stored uh, contiguously, and it uses less memory, is what we're going to see in a second here. The deck stores things not so contiguously. It actually kind of builds a kind of a grouping of multiple arrays instead of one big one, and it kind of builds indexes, kind of like a little database-ish thing in memory, all right? In other words, it has all this extra bookkeeping to keep track of where all these things are in little groups, okay? So there, which is how it gets indexed access to run in order one time, okay? And where the memory is concerned, right? You know, all this bookkeeping and these little fixed size arrays. Uh, down here it says, you know, if uh, you want to hold only a couple of items in a deck, they typically have, relatively speaking, a larger minimal memory cost. In other words, this DAC, depending on which library you use, may never be able to be shrunk all the way down to the minimum size to hold however many elements it has in it. So depending on whether you're using Lib C++ or Lib Standard C++, it may only allow it to shrink all the way down to 8 or 16 elements minimum instead of like 1 or perhaps even zero for the vector case, all right? So there's a minimum size requirement. There's a little more overhead for this indexing that has to go on so it can find them quickly. But on the order of 
the same performance of a vector as what you end up with random access using this mechanism, as well as being able to insert and delete things at both the beginning and the end. All right, so that's that's the whole big deal with this thing. All right, now if we scroll down and look at all the accessors and mutators, you know, all of its member functions, right? The usual assign. This is exactly the same options you're going to have that you have with a vector. I can assign um, so many elements and give it uh, you know a value i want to put you know a whole bunch of uh, uh, uh values in in my uh deck right and that works the same way that we saw with vectors as well as linked lists this is for more advanced stuff the allocator has to do with you know custom memory management and things like that i'll leave that as a task to the viewer to find out more about that down the road in reality if you're writing uh, programs for most normal <laughs> any any computer you know user applications and stuff like that will run on a pc or whatever you don't mess with these this is for like high performance or custom embedded applications and stuff like that where you care about how the memory is used inside the machine a little bit more in those cases all right now from here down you're going to see all the exact same stuff and they have the same behavior as they do with the uh, vector right at the operator the front back i want to see the, the usual the iterators begin and end and so on uh ask if it's empty how many are in there how many could there be if i wanted to put a bunch in there shrink to fit that one is very similar as the vector like i said earlier this has a certain minimum requirement that's bigger than the vector but otherwise you know yeah it'll shrink it as much as it can to fit all right and then it has the usual stuff, delete all the elements, clear them all out, right? Uh, insert an element at some position, okay? Again, same as the vector, same as the linked list. In place is the optimized version of insert. In place uh, routines are going to be a subject of a, a different lecture. This is worthy of, of a little closer inspection of how this optimization really works, Okay. And as you can see, these were added uh, as an afterthought, you know, about 10 years ago on a language that's 40 years old. So relatively speaking, these are newer optimizations. In place is an optimized version of insert and uh, in place back is an optimized version of push back and so on, right? Okay, so we got the usual erase. Then it'll be erase the one and you give it a position We're using an iterator and so on, right? Push back, pop back, push front, pop front. Again, same as the, uh, well, the push back and pop back, same as a vector. Push front and pop front is the same as a linked list. Resize allows you to add a bunch of new elements to the end that are either created using the default constructor, depending on the type of the things that are in your deck, and or you can give it a value. I want the, uh, you know, change the size, increase the size of my deck, which you could use to add, say, another 50 elements or something, and then say, oh, well, the new 50 put this value in there, okay? And, uh, you know, after they revised the language a little bit, they, they changed some subtle uh, details in how you specify the value, but it doesn't matter uh, for day-to-day uh, -day code. Every, you know, just put, you know, whatever the default value is for the second parameter, Okay. And of course, if you shrink the deck using resize, it does the same thing it did with the vector, or same thing it did with the linked list. And that is that it will delete all the elements in the container past the, the uh, count value, past this index number, right? Keep the first 20, throw away the rest kind of a thing, all right? Um, what else do we got going on? Swap. Now, the swap is, uh, we talked about this before, the swap is used to change not, you know, swap two elements in the container. Not, not, not for that. It's to change the entire contents of one container with that of another container. Okay? And they go on to say that if you do this, it will not reconstruct the individual elements. And that can be hugely valuable. If you really want to swap all the elements in one deck with a different deck, you'd rather not have to delete all the elements and then reconstruct all of them. All right. So the point is, this is an optimized way to do that, should you ever need to do so. Now we've got some new functions in here that are literally at the time of this recording, a couple of months old in terms of the specification. All right. 
Uh, I'm not going to go into those. Um, this one up here, the double equals, allows you to ask, are all the elements in the deck equal to and in the same order as all the elements in some other deck? All right? I mean, that makes sense. If you have two deck variables and you want to ask, are they equal? You know, that's that's what they're really, you know, that's what all that means. All right? And this is a three-way comparison that's a more advanced feature i could probably talk about that in another lecture at some point if i have time all right this down here just talks about the fact that its swap is more optimized than the default swap specifically for the deck container i will talk about these at another time as well these are predicated functions uh the bottom line is you can say things like I want to delete all the elements in this container that have some value. All right. So let's look at the description for that. All the elements compare equal to the value of the, from the container. All right. And which is equivalent to this code here. You know, uh, I want to remove uh, this value from all of the uh, from the deck. If the values match. All right. We didn't talk about distance and remove, but I think you can understand it from this description up here at this point if you want to. Now, this other one has what's called a predicate. We'll talk about predicate functions and lambdas and things like that in another uh, lecture, all right? So at the moment, let's leave these for another time, just other than to just mention that they, they exist all right, because you can see them in there, right? Now, this is really all you need to know about a deck. A deck is a vector that has this special optimization that allows you to insert and delete things both at the beginning as well as the ending. Thanks for watching. See you next time.